From Luzon to Visayas to Mindanao, the Philippine archipelago is trembling like never before. On September 30th, 2025, a magnitude 6.9 quake struck off Cebu, near Bogo City and Daan Bantayan. It claimed at least 69 lives, injured hundreds, and left thousands without power. Fibol CS later identified the Bogo Bay Fault as the source. Meanwhile, tremors didn't spare Luzon. On October 9th, a 4.4 magnitude quake jolted La Union and Cordillera. Reports also list Isabella and Zambales experiencing quakes on October 11th. Smaller, but reminders that the ground remains restless. Then, on October 10th, a seismic doublet struck Davao Oriental. The first measured 7.4, the second 6.7. Tsunami warnings followed as coastal communities fled inland. Casualties rose, but quick responses saved many lives. The next day, on October 11th, a magnitude 6.0 quake hit near Arasasan, part of the same aftershock chain. Why is this happening? The Philippines lies on the Pacific Ring of Fire. Home to the Philippine Trench, the Manila Trench, and the Philippine Fault Zone. Stress builds deep below, and the islands bear its release. But there is hope. Filipinos can prepare, drop, cover, hold on. No safe exits and high ground. Keep an emergency kit. Join community drills. From La Union to Cebu, from Davao to Arasasan, the earth shakes. But Filipinos rise stronger, wiser and united. Share this. Educate. Be quake ready. Always.